tonight on what will happen to the Highview house stocked with hazardous chemicals. Experts from the EPA inspected the house and took samples for testing. The city asked the agency for guidance before deciding to set the house on fire and all the contents inside. Wave News reporter David Mattingly has the latest. Anyone hoping for some clarity on what will eventually happen here is probably disappointed right now. EPA contractors entered the house, but they did not come out with any answers. Residents again had to keep their distance as neighborhood streets were blocked off. From our vantage point, we could see tents, emergency vehicles, and a mobile command center. Out of view, EPA contractors got their first look at a potentially deadly mess. Um, they're making entry into the house. Um, obviously, the uh, federal EPA members have only seen pictures and heard us talk about it, so they're actually getting eyes on it themselves. The city is counting on the EPA for clear advice as it weighs only two options, burn the house down with its dangerous contents or conduct a potentially hazardous cleanup. There was no immediate answer. Uh, they are do running some tests. They're not moving any bottles or opening any bottles or anything like that. So they're performing some tests. They're going to take it back to their labs. Those results could take days as residents continue to wait. In the meantime, a sign in front of a neighborhood house says no to a toxic burn. Resident David Rhodes, on the other hand, says he's okay with burning if the city turns the job over to the military. Take the military or the service or whoever does that is, is, is going to uh, do a good job. And that's my opinion of it. But you don't trust the city to do it right. I know, I don't. And if there is a burn, resident David Olix wonders where his family will go if they have to evacuate. I've got a disability. My daughter's got a disability. Um, we've got animals in the house. I don't know where we would find lodging. I can't sleep on a cot. If there is a burn, the city will need cooperation from the weather to minimize the environmental impact. If there is no burn and a cleanup is called for, that is a process that could take months. David Mattingly, Wave News.